As part of ThoughtWorks' sponsorship of the San Francisco New Tech Meetup, we invited members of the community to submit nominations for guests of a ThoughtWorks Code Jam. This Code Jam would involve one or two evenings during which the selected guest would join the San Francisco area thought workers in the ThoughtWorks office. There, the group would envision, design, and build a software application. ThoughtWorks' first guest was Warren Stringer of Muse.com. It started from the Macworld announcement of the iPhone. I like the idea of combining music and touch, be able to express yourself with a device that's very small, you can carry around with you. Uh, so I wanted to do something that was idiomatic to this particular device that you couldn't do before, explore new territory. At the iPhone dev camp, there's all these people who are trying to figure out, here's a cool new thing. What can you do with it? There's one person, uh, Tom Hewitt. He used the one that actually came up with the ability to detect it could actually tilt the device. It just occurred to me, how about if you vote with just tilting the device? And so that's, that's what I came up with. And that's the that's, uh, very beginning. The team employed ThoughtWorks practices of rapid requirements definition, iterations of one hour in this case, team collaboration with Mingle from ThoughtWorks Studios, pair programming, test first development, continuous integration, and others. I'm really jazzed by the whole experience. One thing, I've never been through a one hour iteration before. <laughs> that was just crazy. Uh, to have a lot of bright people come up with ideas and from unexpected places. So Dan had come up with one social model as to MC can see the screens uh, from the audience, so, he's, so that person's getting feedback. There is uh, Petra, Uber project manager, who simplified an argument down to the very barest essentials. There was uh, uh, Michael's ideas uh, as far as the graphics, and the whole give and take of the process of, of people going back and forth. I had met Julius a couple of meetups before, and we were talking about domain-specific languages and the whole Rails type of phenomenon. So it's great to work in this kind of environment. It's so exciting. Some fuel, ideas, problem solving, and good old-fashioned hard work. The result was a rewarding experience of making friends, extreme learning, and playing with some toys. I would like to make this as pervasive as possible. So I want to open source the code because I've been given this great gift from ThoughtWorks and I want to give it back to the community. Uh, from there is to find other bright people who like to develop, say, in that code base of Ruby and Rails and who like uh, doing something kind of exciting in a group sort of environment. Of course, there's a limit to what can be accomplished in two evenings, though that limit is greater than you might expect. However, coming away from the experience is the foundation, collection of ideas, and inspiration to continue to do some pretty great things. So it's great to work in this kind of environment to see who the people are at the top of the food chain and how they work. It's so exciting. <laughs>